What is up guys? Welcome back. So new patch just hit us and there are a lot of new things that they added on this patch. Uh, there's new events, new packs, new monsters and new... I guess new new shit to do. Um, they also did the balance, cha balance changes to, to armor break and armor buffs and all the uh, attack buff and um, attack break. Um, yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at everything that's that's new in this video, I think. So I think the first most not noticeable thing, like if you're a pay-to-play player, um, this is definitely worth the price. Like it's it's a lot cheaper than buying anything that you get here. So if you want to like spend anything on the game, probably buy that. Um, I don't th I I predicted that it would be around like 30 US dollars. Um, I think I was pretty close. And right now you can get it for a little bit cheaper. I think it's 75% off. So like without the 75%, it'd be around a little bit more than 30 dollars. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're if you're pay to win, go go hard and buy now. Um, the next little thing is what, what else is there? Oh yeah, there's there's new maps. I think this is probably the most noticeable thing. Um, there's there's gonna be new maps. I think they released two of them. They didn't release all four. So we basically have access to these two maps. Um, this one gives you the Shelly, the the uh, Phoebean. And oh, this is a chimera. I, I thought it was a dragon, but you know, I guess whatever. Um, chimeras can look literally look like every anything they want. Um, and this is the this is the new Jill Frost, which is wait, is it an event monster? Yeah, I think it's a, it's only it's only event, right? Yeah, it says exotic. It's it's an, an only event monster. Um, Alright, so we're going to be taking a look at their skills as well. Uh, there's also a new fusion, like this this thing. I think um, I think everyone was kind of right about this. It was basically, you take an Evil 2 version of this monster, you take an Evil 3 Jill Frost, and you fuse them into into this. And it actually costs 1 million, which is, which is actually quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do it, because like, I don't have... I have both... I have all three of these monsters. But I don't have them at Evo Evo Two or Evo Three. Um, I guess I could use like I have a few extra Leos to make an Evo Two Leo. But I'm not sure if I want to make a make an Evo Three Leo Water Leo. I can't remember what the Water Leos do. Yeah, recovery down down in fatigue isn't all that useful. Um, but the other two, if you're like trying to build a sap team, is definitely really really strong. Um, but it's a pretty big investment, and it's monsters that are probably going to become, um, you know, you're definitely going to replace at some point because sappers aren't like really made for the late game. They can help you progress through through early stages, and they might help you progress through stages where you might be stuck on. Because um, the good thing about sappers is you they rely only on these debuffs, so you only have to. Um, you know, you only have to stack tankiness on the unit. You don't have to worry about any sort of attack, attack stats, and they're still able to do you know damage through the the use of their saps. Um, and that's one of the reasons why they're so good early game because a lot of the players that started playing um, when they're trying to progress to the next stage, they're they're quite limited on their gems. Like they can't use the best gems possible. Obviously, if you start in the first month, then you you've had access to a lot of really really OP shit, um, and then they they kind of become useless for. For you, but I think now that they made the golems a little bit harder, it might, um, you know, newer players might look towards that, to, towards building sappers as well. Uh, so I guess that's a pretty good change, but it's it's a pretty big investment to to um, to have to make an evil two version of a mo of a four star monster and spend another you know one million gold. I guess it's worth it, definitely worth it to make a monster evil three with one million gold. But it's just the the three monsters that are offered are, are um, you know, one of them is really not that good. The other two are monsters that won't be that good um, later on in the game. Okay, so the last little thing is the changes to the the armor buff. Um, I think the armor buff I, we don't we can't really see the difference right now. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I guess aggressors are definitely still going to be really really OP. Holy shit. Variant Dark Cupid. Dude, this is the dream, alright? The dream is to get a Variant Dark Cupid and use him as leader in the arena. 
That is like better than Wood Leo. Um, should I buy this for the hell of it? Or let's buy it for the hell of it. Okay, so they did. I think they posted something like they were going to make change the. Oh, yeah, they changed the, the summoning race back to Nightmare. Um, so it's not Shiva anymore for for the increased summoning chances. Um, all right, let's 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 pop these four eggs for the hell of it. Or should I do this in my daily update video? I guess I'll do it here. Probably more people watch this video, anyways. Maybe I'll summon something new. I don't think any of the new monsters are summonable, though. I wonder if the 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 uh, the snowy is summonable. Be really nice if I can get get some fusion material. I'm I'm gonna start working on fusion now. I think. Well, that was uh that was that was actually okay. It was it was expected. All right, it was ex expected. Um, all right. So I'm definitely gonna be playing through the maps in a later video today, and I'm also gonna be um, looking at all the new skills of the new monsters in another video as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.